beautiful people and welcome back to my channel simply key simone if you are new here i want to say welcome and if you're returning i want to say welcome back here on my channel i talk all things mindset growth and lifestyle and today we are going to be diving into a very important topic for this very time of the year okay it is currently mid-august which means we are about to step into q4 very very soon of 2023 and i know a lot of you are looking back at the goals that you made at the beginning of the year looking back at your vision boards and you like <laughs> what the hell happened what happened to everything that i plan to do what happened to those big goals yes you may have knocked some small things off this year but if you are feeling like you have not made the progress that you wanted to make then this video is for you because today i'm going to be diving into how to achieve your goals big or small faster how to achieve your goals more accurately how to stay on track and how to ultimately get to those goals faster so if this is you and you feel like this video is for you and you know that you need this you know that you need this look just just be honest with yourself okay it's just you and me here it's, it's just you and me here and i'm here to give you the tea give you some help give you some notes give you some tips like always so if you are interested be sure to pull out your notepad grab you some water some wine some kombucha and let's just hop right in all right y'all so thank you so much again for tuning in to a, another one of my mindset growth videos um today we're definitely diving into goal achieving being able to achieve your goals faster we are almost through the year 2023 and i i know i know i know i know i ain't gonna get into it i know so i'm just gonna go ahead and dive right into the tips that i have for you to be able to achieve your goals faster whether they be big whether they be small whatever the timeline is the tips that i'm about to give you are going to significantly reduce that timeline so yeah let's just go ahead and get into tip number one so tip number one i've said this before in reference to many other things but i'm telling you this is the root of how you conquer anything and that is by shifting your mindset shifting your mindset is so so very important because again like anything in this world any creation any man-made thing it all started in someone's mind any thought any idea tv shows movies anything content it all started in somebody's mind and if your mindset is not set up for growth and abundance you are going to have such a hard time achieving all those goals that you would like the first thing you want to start off by is thinking of the goal right so you have this goal in your mind what are the thoughts that surrounds that goal what what is the self-talk that surrounds that goal when you think of this goal what are those thoughts that are silently playing in the back of your mind or if you're talking about the goal or if you're planning for the goal what are some of those thoughts that are going on in the back of your mind are they self-limiting are they self-doubting in any way are they questioning yourself is it coming from a self-conscious position that you're doubting of whether you can even attain this goal all of these thoughts really really do matter because they shape how you move forward to your goal so if you are able to create or change alter and elevate your mindset to not or to counteract those negative thoughts or those negative self-beliefs or those limiting self-beliefs you are going to be able to achieve your goals that much faster whenever you are thinking these negative thoughts are you self-sabotaging anyway are you thinking to yourself like oh dang you know i don't know if i can do this because i haven't done x y and z so that means i'm not going to do it at all are those self-limiting beliefs self-sabotaging you are you stopping yourself from achieving everything and anything that it is that you want to do whenever we have things and i'm not saying that everything is meant to come easy because anything that is worth having is most definitely worth working and waiting for but if we reframe our thinking and our mindset towards the goal that we have and towards the obstacles that we have and towards just the journey to that goal in general it's going to make it so so much easier to move forward and keep pressing once you've hit a milestone to move on to the next milestone and to move on to the next milestone it literally all starts in the mind and i will 
will preach this until I am blue in the face, but it really, really does start with your mindset. Please don't underestimate the, the things that you say to yourself, even the things that you don't say out loud, even the things that you don't share with your family and with your friends. If you're thinking it to yourself, your subconscious mind is already acting as if such, and you can't even tell that you're self-sabotaging yourself. So the first thing that I really want you to do is shift your mindset. Whenever you catch yourself thinking negative thoughts, whenever you catch yourself doubting yourself, whenever you catch yourself questioning, if you're doing what you really, really need to be doing, Take the time to put intention into a thought that counteracts that. Once you start doing this over and over again, the neuroplasticity will click in and that's pretty much muscle memory for the brain and you are gonna start doing it easier and easier and easier and you won't have to catch yourself as much when you are thinking those negative thoughts because after a while, you're gonna automatically have those positive thoughts in your mind, those positive self-motivating thoughts in your mind. Now, I'm not saying that you're gonna one day magically wake up and you're always gonna have these positive thoughts because sometimes motivation is not enough. Motivation is fleeting. It goes up and it goes down. But if you have that discipline, when that discipline kicks in and that's a part of your mindset, baby, you are gonna push forward every single time. So tip number Number one, shift your mindset. It all starts in your mind. Shift your mindset towards your goal and watch the goal come to you so, so much faster. Okay, tip number two, create a realistic plan that works specifically for you. I'll say that again, create a realistic plan realistic plan that works for you, you and only you. The reason why I say this is because you are very unique. Everyone in their situation and what they have going on is very unique. Whether you have the same goals from someone else or you know, let's say you have two people that wanna be influencers or content creators. Y'all both have the same goal, but your lives look completely different, your abilities look completely different, you know, your your day-to-day -day looks completely different. So the plan that they may have been able to execute or the plan that they're planning, <laughs> the plan that they intend on executing to get to that goal is going to look completely different than yours. One of the main things that's super, super important is to really just stop looking to your left and your right and stop comparing yourself against how other people move because it's not going to work exactly the same for you. Now, you may be able to take some pointers and some tips from people that are doing the same thing that you're doing, and it's always great to talk with, plan with, you know, um, exchange ideas with people with like-minded uh, or people that are like-minded. It's very much so. I'm not saying I don't network and don't learn and don't gather, but what I am saying is you are not going to be able to move exactly how someone else is moving. If you have children and a person that you're talking to about content creation doesn't have children and it seems like, you know, they have more time, they have more availability, it seems like, you know, that they have their ducks in a row so it's easier for them to produce content and you ask them, you know, what do you do to stay motivated? What do you do to, you know, can stay consistent? You can't necessarily take the exact plan or the exact steps that they did because you have children. So you have to make a plan that works best for yourself. I find that if you try to tailor a plan to yourself better, it's easier to accomplish things just because it is realistic. It's attainable. If you tell yourself that you're going to film the same frequency as a person without children, you're literally shooting yourself in the foot and it's only going to discourage you more when you're unable to upkeep that type of frequency of producing content or if that method of producing content just does not work for you. You are going to put yourself in a position to where you start doubting your ability or doubting the goal in general just because there are certain humps that you can't get over. Everyone's journey and situation is not the same. Even though Though you may have similar goals to someone, everyone's journey is going to look completely different. Everyone's obstacles and challenges are going to look completely different. So please stop comparing from the left and your right. 
keep tunnel vision, keep set on your goals. And when you are able to put a plan in place that allows you to operate from a space that you know you can be successful from, you are going to see results so, so much faster. You are going to start walking towards your goal so, so much faster. So please, I urge you to, you know, take other people's success as motivation and as a confirmation that you you can do this because if someone who is just like you or you know just as smart as you you know just as old as you has you know just as much anything as you you know that it's attainable for you if someone else can do it you most definitely can do it there is nothing stopping you nothing is stopping you except for you and as long as you are on a plan that enables you to be successful you are going to be great now with your realistic plan you want to include actionable steps what do I mean by actionable steps you want to include actionable steps that you can take today not tomorrow not next week not next month not next year actionable steps that you can take today one thing that i am definitely guilty of or definitely have experienced in the past so i know others have too is analysis paralysis so while you're like okay well, I, I got my mindset together and i'm creating a plan that i know works for me but i feel like i don't know what direction to go in or i have all of these big chunks of milestones that I have to hit to ultimately get to my goal. You have to break up those milestones into actionable steps. You may not be able to, let's say, pay for your three or $4,000 certification if you are going to be a lash tech or a nail tech. I don't know, I'm making something up. I don't know how much it costs. I don't. I don't know, but let's just say that that's what you want to do, right? You want to open your own business and you want to be a lash tech, you want to be a nail tech, and it's going to take you $4,000, but you don't necessarily have that $4,000 right now. So you're like, dang, I just have to wait until I have the $4,000. This may be true, but you don't have to wait in general. You don't have to wait to start pursuing your goal until you have that amount of money. First, Actionable step number one, what can you do right now that can help you set aside extra money that you don't quite have or money that you don't necessarily put aside on a normal basis, okay? Step number two, what, who can you connect with and who can you network with that you know is an active lash tech or nail tech or whatever and you can get some information from them? Actionable step number three, you can go online, YouTube, there are so many tutorials, there are so many self-taught people, and I promise you, even though you know there are some lanes that are definitely regulated by certain laws and certain restrictions and things like that, there is nothing stopping you from practicing. There is nothing stopping you from getting, uh, ordering a little test dummy doll and practicing lashes or nails or practicing on some of your friends or you know looking at these tutorials and all these things. There is nothing stopping you. That way, once you do, you know, are able to pay for your certification course and are get certified you already have experience you already have knowledge you already have contacts and people that you've networked with that already work in this space so you already have a leg up in starting your business if you were to wait six months from now when you do have the money you're starting from ground zero and you could be starting from ground four or five so definitely keep in mind that with this realistic plan that works for you that you include actionable steps that you can take action today today there is nothing stopping you from taking action today you don't have to wait for monday you don't have to wait for the new year start today all right y'all so tip number three and this is my favorite tip of all three of these because this is something that is so so true to me to my core and i feel like that i have been like this for such a long time and pretty much the majority of my life but that is to move in silence you heard me move in silence. You do not need to announce your every move, your every plan, your every goal. You do not have to announce that to everybody. You don't have to announce it to the world. Now, this may be the Scorpio in me because, you know, Scorpios were a little mysterious. We're a little secret, a little something. But I do know that there is power in silence. There is power in closing the lips 
and keeping the ears open, okay? There is so much, so much, so, so much power in that. Less talk and more do. Have you ever met a person that every time you see them or every time that you're around them, you know, they're always talk, 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 talk. They're like, you know, yeah, I'm doing this and yeah, I'm doing that and blah, 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 blah. And six months later, a year later, you there is no fruits of that labor. There is no evidence to prove that everything that they've been talking about, that they've actually been working on, there's nothing. They were all talk, right? Not much do. You really want to be less of a talker and more of a doer until your goals are accomplished. Now, I'm not saying that you can't have someone who is like a trusted advisor or a mentor or, you know, some of your best friends or your spouse or like your parent but you definitely want to make that circle of people or your you know your support group the people that you know are really really going to cheer you on in this season or help you in some way you really want to limit how many people that is to people that are actually pertinent to know this information is this person going to help you in any way is this person going to coach you in any way is this person just going to be you know a source of motivation for you or whenever you know when you start feeling that that strife you know those obstacles are coming up and you really really feel like you need somebody to lean into those should be the people that you should be sharing your goals and experiences with your plans and all of those things because you're right we can't do everything on our own so you don't have to move in silence in that regard like never tell anyone anything but be very selective with who you share this information with reason being for why you want to be selective with who you share this information with is what well, people can really really discourage you and let you down now there could be one of two reasons one they don't believe in your vision they don't see your vision and they just like girl I don't know about that okay or it could be unintentionally discouraging you just because it's someone who really really cares about you and they have have fears and project them onto you and they want to protect you and which that's all well and fine but if we were to live by our fears if we were to not conquer or move past anything just because we were scared of it we would never achieve anything we would never get to the levels that we want to be because let's face it doing something new and doing something big is going to be scary like there is no way and the way that you know that you're about to do something big and that you're about to do something new and something very meaningful is if you have that feeling in your gut of some type of fear but there's so much power in conquering that and if you have people that either don't believe in you or people that are fearing for you that is going to rub off on you that is going to rub off on you you may think you know no one can hinder me from doing anything except for me you know i can let that go in one ear and out the other that's cool and if you can then why tell them in the first place but it is, it is going to affect you. It is going to affect you. If these people are really close to you and you share space with them, they're not going to respect the time that you need to put into your craft or your business or whatever it is that you're trying to pursue. They're not going to cheer you on when the time is right. Like whenever you feel like you've hit a milestone, you'll be expecting them to give you accolades or support you in certain ways and they just won't be there to do that and that's okay one thing that i do say is that your your family and your friends sometimes seems like they're the last ones to support you and not saying this in every case but a lot of the times your family and your friends are not always going to be the ones to support you first it may be a community of like-minded people that are your target audience or your target customer or your target client those are going to be the ones that really stand up for you first and for some people that can feel very very isolating and that can feel very discouraging so you definitely want to make sure the circle of people that you are sharing this information with is pertinent and informative and beneficial for you in some way. Another reason why moving in silence is so, so very important is because whether you look at it biblically or whether you look at it non-biblically, I'm about to give it to you both ways, okay? There is a such thing as monitoring spirits, which is basically a hater, okay? You can look at it biblically and you can look at it non-biblically. You have haters slash monitoring spirits that are praying and waiting on you to fail. I know you feel like every single friend, acquaintance, um, and everybody in your life, the best interest for you or may have best interest in mind for you, but this is not 
particularly true, okay? When God has a blessing for you or when God has a calling on your life, when God has spoken to you and told you and, you know, reassured you that this is the path that you need to be on, the devil is going to be working 10 times as hard to make sure that he stops you from that blessing. And, you know, the devil can't be everywhere every, every minute of the day like God can, okay? So he has to send out minions, which come in the form of monitoring spirits and haters, okay? Just to stop your shine. So you don't even want to put yourself in a position to be affected by that. What's left to do? Move in silence. You won't have anybody calling you randomly somebody that you barely even talk to calling you randomly just to see what you're doing just to see what you're up to just to get the tea just to you know key key and go spread the news or you literally have people that are waiting to know this information they're putting energy into hoping or they just want to keep up with you so that they can you know keep score in a way keep score in a sense like let me make sure that she's still at this level so i know that you know i'm on this level like there are really some weird people out here and there are people that are in your very circle that are comparing themselves to you and you have no idea so all in all moving in silence is very very important you don't have to let everyone know every single goal it adds mystery it adds a uh, peace of mind and it adds the space just for you to continue to move forward quickly without all the extra obstacles of these people that you can avoid you are going to be able to move to your goals that that much faster Alrighty, beautiful people so those were my three three very very big tips to attaining any goal that you have in mind so much faster now these aren't the only things that you can do to make sure that you attain your goals faster or get to those goals faster or to get where you want to be faster but i'm telling you with that foundation with those three tips as your foundation i promise you you are going to be on the right path in no time we are going to be accomplishing our goals and we're not waiting till 2024 we're not waiting till january 2024 to do so so keep these tips in mind implement them in whatever it is that you want to do and it is not too late to start working towards anything it is that you want in your life okay beautiful people so that about wraps up this video i hope that you enjoyed these tips i hope that they resonated with you and if you know somebody who might need it please do share this with them thank you for sharing space with me today be sure to give this video a big thumbs up leave me a comment down below and also do not forget to hit that subscribe button turn on your post bell notifications so that you'll be notified every time i post a new video and also do not forget to slide on over to instagram and follow me there at underscore key simone and also the same on tiktok and yes i will just see you all in the next video tell me what you say now tell me what you say you said that you would come again you said that we would remain friends but